Definitely, um, uh, it's a good time for us as a company. Um, there's so many reasons behind it. Uh, first of all, uh, there is a very good demand when it comes to the FMCG um, uh, grocery, especially. Um, the studies shows that in 2019, the market size of grocery retail is at 57 billion Saudi real, and it's said to increase at 5% on annually basis until 2024. Um, and actually, as a company, it makes sense for us to go public in order to go to the next uh, target as a company. In terms of what happens next in the, uh, the listing, of course, obviously 96 Saudi reals per share. Are we going to go limit up? What's your take on that? A lot of folks have been watching the Saudi Tadell, obviously, very, very closely, particularly over the last few months, given the fact that we saw Aramco joining uh, the, the exchange not too long ago. See, uh, the, the share, um, the price uh, of the share is actually determined by the um, um, investors. Uh, when we saw there is a very high demand from both um, uh, institutional investors and the retail investors, and with such um, uh, multiples of coverage, uh, actually that what determined uh, that the investors is trusting into our uh, story and trusting the uh, strategy um, of the company and, and its ability to deliver its results. So all of that is actually because of the trust of the investors. As you mentioned, the IPO heavily oversubscribed. You're listing 20%. When would you consider perhaps releasing more of the company to the market, going beyond that 20%? Um, so far, the, um, uh, the existing shareholders are considering to keep, as a family of Bindo, the, uh, um, considering to keep uh, the remaining share of the business uh, for the future generations of the family. But we have a minority stake uh, uh, with the private equity firm called Investcorp. So they might um, sell or, or they have different strategy after the lock uh, period uh, of their shares. Right. What will you be using the funds for that you raised today, of course, once the, sh the shares hit the market? Um, so actually, it's a secondary sell. So the existing shareholders are selling their portion of the shares. Um, and it's going directly to the uh, people who actually give up their shares. And, and then they will see how to invest it or in order to, um, to take it to different businesses or even to diversify risks, or maybe it will go also to some of the uh, philanthropic activities that they are willing to.